Man, when it comes to hunting with my dad, uh, not even sure where to start. Maybe start with the fact that uh, I'm left eye dominant and I should have been shooting left handed my whole life, but I always blame my dad for my poor shotgun shooting ability because I've been shooting right handed from the jump. Um, even back when uh, I first started shooting shotguns, probably why I couldn't hit anything back then and why I still miss way too much right now. Brewster! No! No! Dang it! Gun's broken. Gun's broken! Growing up back in North Dakota, literally the first thing we did growing up as kids was we were into sports. We played a lot of sports as kids, and um, but when we had free time, we liked to go out and hunt. And our dad was the first one to take us out in the field with a shotgun, with a rifle to the range. Tate, you got my gun? Tate, Tate. He wasn't the, the most avid outdoorsman, but he enjoyed it. He enjoyed pheasant hunting, and um, I, did, I called it pheasant walking because A, we were just walking, and B, we rarely saw pheasants, so it was really just a nature walk, more or less. Once we got off to college, we kind of um, developed our own passion for the outdoors that kind of got fueled by our dad growing up. We had that foundation. And As if we need to affect Doug's hearing any worse or any more. Pop, 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 pop. That's why you can't hear very good, bud. <laughs> Pretty par for the course right now. Everyone's standing up, having a good time, and old man's just down here sulking. And once it starts slowing down, he starts complaining about everything. <laughs> Don't touch me. It's embarrassing. All of a sudden it was football all the time. Football in school, football in school, football in school. And I, I wanted an out. I wanted something, something else. And I had some buddies that introduced me to duck hunting. Jersey, Jersey. Kill him. You know it, baby. <laughs> I know a number of times they'd have a game Saturday and I'd stay Saturday night. We'd go waterfowl hunting on Sunday morning together. Love for the outdoors just really blossomed in college after the foundation our, our father laid. Ever since being in the NFL, um, the opportunity to go waterfowl hunting uh, with my dad, who still lives in North Dakota, um, has been very limited. Um, those opportunities have been, but uh, we've been able to go back to North Dakota over the bye week. Um, pretty much every year uh, during the season and then also to Arkansas um, to chase some snow geese in the spring with some of my buddies and my dad makes all those trips. Go. <laughs> Stupid crazy! <laughs> oh, hockey! <laughs> Who's the mark? Who's the point? Mike, Mike, 36, 36! Oh, thank you. That's usually a safety. Hey! Oh, fuck off! Look at him, he's gonna be cutting that I'll turn into this. The fact that he just gets along with all of our friends so well, he's just, you know, one of the guys in the blind, he jokes. Um, I think honestly he'd rather probably just sit there and listen to us joke and him laugh than actually than shoot, but that's what makes it fun is he'll probably drop whatever he can at work um, to get there for three or four days just to hang out with us in the blind. What do you have to show the camera? My present from my puppy and my bride. <laughs> you decided to bring it out to the field? Does that make you feel like your dog's hunting with Yes, that? be right in my pocket. It, it's kind of funny because he's, he's the old man of the group, we always give him a hard time, but um, He's great friends with my friends too, and my brother's friends, and, um, and it's just really special to me that my dad is, is a part of that group, part of that bond. Oh my goodness, Doug. Holy Actually, I'm so Martin. proud of my team. I'm so proud of my team. What you do is you just set the hook, you know, and you just reel.
Having my own daughter this spring, Hadley, um, just kind of obviously changed my life in so many ways, but it also gives me new insight, new perspective into, you know, my relationship with my father and how he, you know, views me as his son. Yeah, the moment I became a father for the first time, I think it changes, for a lot of us, I think it just changes the way um, you view the world. We gotta clean some birds, but no, I'm on dad duty for a while, so she's gonna help, I think. One goose down, Sutton. 22 more to go. What'd you do, Dad? Got her to sleep? Now I can help clean the birds. I wouldn't recommend letting your child sleep like this, though. It's probably not the safest. Well, Mom's not here. Yeah, no, just, with the, just with the man. Hopefully Mom never sees this video. It certainly makes me appreciate the lessons and the things that he taught us growing up. There are times that I thought, I swear my dad doesn't love me, but you know, having been a parent now, there's certain things that, certain lessons and certain morals and values that you want to instill in your children. And I think that's something he did, and um, I definitely have a stronger appreciation now um, that I have a daughter than I did before. Do you say deer? Deer. Yep. What does the deer say? <laughs> no, it says. Yeah, good job. One of the things I'm most excited about uh, with my little girl and with uh, my nieces, you know, Ryder and Sutton, Zach's daughters, um, is introducing them to the outdoors. Because I'm so passionate about it, and I know Zach is too, and uh, we're already seeing it with Sutton, you know, going out on deer scouting trips or going out with the dogs and training them and, and with all of that stuff. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> There's a sun. There's a sun. I found it with in my eyes. And to me, that's when the fun happens. That's when these these little girls can experience something that's so unique and experience the bond with with dogs, with nature, with hunting, with all of those things. And I can't wait to teach Hadley, you know, how to shoot a shotgun with the with the proper eye. And hopefully, she exceeds all of my abilities um, with a shotgun and uh, hopefully she falls in love with it with me and uh, you know we can go on some trips together and, and give mom a break every now and then. <laughs>